Well, am I excited about this one? I haven't had these things in so long, and they are absolutely one of my most favorite dishes, desserts in the whole world. We're going to make miniature cheesecakes. I love cheesecakes. One of my favorite desserts. But these are little ones, little miniature ones. We're going to make them in uh, these aluminum cups, these little aluminum baking cups here you buy. And uh, what we're going to need for this, we're going to need 16 ounces of cream cheese. We're going to need three eggs, two-thirds cup of sugar, a tablespoon of almond extract, some vanilla wafers, and this canned cherries, but I'm not using the cherries. I love strawberries, so I'm, I got strawberries for mine. And then the small cup holders. Uh, once we get this stuff baked up or, or uh, mixed up, we're going to bake it in the oven um, at 325 for about 20 minutes till they're done. And when we're done, folks, we're going to have little miniature cheesecakes. And if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. So let me get some things started here, and I'll bring you back, and uh, we'll get this thing going. All right, I've already put the cream cheese in there. Let's go ahead and add the sugar and the eggs. So now I got the three eggs, the uh, cream cheese, the sugar, and we're going to add a teaspoon of almond extract. Not vanilla, almond. So let's go ahead and add that to it. Boy, that smells good. I love almonds. And almond extract smells really good. So you'll see this is a pretty simple recipe. Now we're going to uh, cream it. Let me get uh, let me get these little pie pans uh, set up, and uh, I'll bring you back. All right. Sometimes this can be a problem with a recipe that's 20 years old. They don't make the same stuff now that they used to make 20 years ago. So when you go to find it, you can't find it. Now I bought these original cups because you need to tin because this stuff is thick and heavy, and you need it to support. When I got home, though, I realized when I put the cookie in there, the cookie didn't fit right. So I called Dad. He's my advisor, and he said, "Yeah, you need the mini cups." Well. I went to two stores, and neither one of them had tinfoil wrapped mini cups. They just had the paper ones. But they're too small to fit the cookie. So I called Dad back. Hey, the mini ones won't fit the cookie. Yeah, now, you know, I ran into that problem before. There's a certain kind of cookie you got to get. I can't remember this and that. Well, the bottom line, folks, is I think I can still make something that's very good. So we're going to make a little change to the recipe. We're going to use the big cups because I know you can find those at Kroger's. We're going to put a cookie in the bottom of it, and then we're going to fill it up about three quarters or about half the way a little under half the way so you're gonna have a nice little cookie crust in the bottom of it and you'll have cheesecake around it hopefully these things will turn out but I wanted to bring this back and show you the different size in the cups and which one you'll need so that you don't have to run around town like I just have in the middle of the recipe to try to get it right so um, let me get these uh, cups loaded up and then I'll bring you back all right now what I did do is I set the cookie so the flat parts on the bottom and I tried to center the cookie in the middle of it the best I could because I think that's going to be the best. And who knows, this may turn out better than the original. But anyways, once we do that, we're going to take and put uh, put about, well, a serving teaspoon. I mean, a teaspoon you use to eat with. See what I'm saying? That's about how full I'm going to fill them. And I'm going to fill all these that way. So instead of keeping you around while I pitter through these, trying to fill them up, I'm going to let you go. And then when I get them full, we're going to slide them into the oven. We're going to bake them a little longer now because we got bigger ones. So we're going to bake them at 325 for 20, 25 minutes. I'll have to let you know what the target is once I figure it out. But uh, let me get the rest of these filled up, get them in the oven. When I pull them out, I'll bring you back. I'm a lucky man. Look at that. I think there's like 22 of them. 21, 22 of them that... Uh, so anyways, 
looks like it worked out. Um, I wanted to give you a good overhead view of what it looked like. Let me turn this other light on so, so that you could see what they, you know, cooked right. And um, you can see, you can just pull it away. And that leaves you a nice little, a nice little cheesecake. Now, let me move these back here. Because I got one, I got an idea. I'm gonna need a couple of these though. One surely not enough. Three is an odd number. <laughs> no, I like four. Let's go with four. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first put cherries, blueberries, whatever you want. Myself, I like strawberries. So I wish I could show you this container. I just bought pre-sweetened. It was in the frozen. I kind of went cheap on it. You know what I'm saying? Easy. I was cheating on it. I should, didn't do the strawberries myself. But it's just because I was lazy. That's why. It's just because it was lazy. But they taste real good. They're sweet and they're ready to go. So anyways, get your strawberries, your fruit, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do strawberries. And then... Yep. <laughs> yeah, little chocolate. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna have to pick this plate up. Man, all alive. Like little cheesecakes. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man. I haven't had these in so long. I've got to give a big shout out to my dad. I've been driving him crazy today. Mm, 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 mm. Trying to uh, get some recipes for some future stuff I want to do and um, making sure I had things right for this. Of course, when I ran into the cup deal, the uh, tins, you know, I had to call him on that. But anyways, I just want to give him a big shout out because he's very patient with me. Helps me get these recipes dug out. Always checks them out, helps me promote them. So, Dad, I really appreciate it, probably more than you know. Um, I wish I could send you some of these UPS, but uh, I don't think they'd make it. But if you come down and you want me to make them, you let me know. So, anyways, these are very easy. They're not hard to make. Awesome. You just blow people's mind when you walk in. Who doesn't like cheesecake, right? And then you can make them up any way you want. You don't have to put anything. If you just like them plain, they're good just to pop in your mouth with a glass of cold milk, too. So... Anyways, I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you try it. Um, it works out for you. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.